October 28, 1955, Bill Gates is born. William Henry Bill Gates III was born on October 28, 1955. He and his two sisters grew up in Seattle. Their father, William H. Gates II, was a Seattle attorney. Mary Gates, their late mother, was a school teacher, University of Washington Regent and Chairwoman of United Way International. 1967 to 1973, Bill Gates attends Lakeside Prep School. It was during the spring term of 1968 at Lakeside Prep School that Bill Gates first used a computer. He, Paul Allen, and several other students, of which many became Microsoft programmers, became addicted to the computer, spending all day and all night writing programs and reading all the material they could get their hands on. In late 1968, the Lakeside Programming Group was formed consisting of him, Paul, and two other students from Lakeside Prep School. They wanted to apply their new computer skills to the real world. They got this chance when the Computer Center Corporation struck a deal with them. In exchange for unlimited computer time, he and his friends searched the computer for bugs and weaknesses in the system. 1973, Bill Gates enrolls at Harvard University. Bill Gates started starting at Harvard University in 1973, where he spent his time with Paul Allen. Gates and Allen worked on a version of the programming language BASIC that was the basis for the MITS Altair, the first microcomputer available. He did not go on to graduate from Harvard University as he left in his junior year to start what was to become the largest computer software company in the world, Microsoft Corporation. April 4, 1975, Bill Gates and Paul Allen formed a partnership called Microsoft. Microsoft was formed soon after the introduction of the Micro Instrumentation and Telemetry Systems, MITS, Altair, the first personal computer, a build-it-yourself kit for hobbyists. Bill Gates and Paul Allen seized the opportunity to transform this early PC into a breakthrough. The Altair needed software, a programming language that could make it perform useful computing tasks. That's where it all began. Over the years, the PC has transformed from a hobbyist toy to an indispensable tool that continues to change the world. It had revolutionized how we deal with information, how we communicate, and how we work, learn, and play. January 1st, 1979, Microsoft moves headquarters to Bellevue, Washington. Microsoft became independent of MITS in late 1976 and it continued to develop programming language software for various systems. The company moved from Albuquerque to its new home in Bellevue, Washington on January 1st, 1979. During Microsoft's early years, all employees had broad responsibility for the company's business. Gates oversaw the business details but continued to write code as well. In the first five years, he personally reviewed every line of code the company shipped and often rewrote parts of it as he saw fit. 1980, Microsoft partners with IBM to write BASIC for the IBM PC. In 1980, IBM approached Microsoft to write the BASIC interpreter for its upcoming personal computer, the IBM PC. Gates proposed using 86DOS, an operating system similar to the one Tim Patterson of Seattle Computer and Products, SCP, had made for hardware similar to the PC. Microsoft made a deal with SCP to become the exclusive licensing agent and later the full owner of 86DOS. After adapting the operating system for the PC, Microsoft delivered it to IBM as PC-DOS in exchange for a one-time fee of $50,000. Gates did not offer to transfer the copyright on the operating system because he believed that other hardware vendors would clone IBM's systems. They did, and the sales of MS-DOS made Microsoft a major player in the industry. June 25, 1981. Microsoft becomes incorporated and Bill Gates becomes president. Microsoft reorganized into a privately held corporation with Bill Gates as president and chairman of the board and Paul Allen as executive vice president. Microsoft becomes Microsoft Inc., an incorporated business in the state of Washington. Microsoft launched its first retail version of Microsoft Windows on November 20th, 1985. 1989, Bill Gates founds Corbis. Gates founded Corbis, an archive of art and photography from public and private collections. Corbis later becomes one of the largest collections of visual information in the world. January 1st, 1994, Bill Gates marries Melinda French. Bill and Melinda French Gates were married on January 1st, 1994. They now have three children. May 18, 1998, United States vs. Microsoft trial. On May 18, 1998, the United States filed a civil complaint alleging that Microsoft had engaged in anti-competitive conduct in violation of the Sherman Act. 
The plaintiffs allege that Microsoft abused monopoly power on Intel-based computers in its handling of operating system sales and web browser sales. The issue central to the case was whether Microsoft was allowed to bundle its flagship Internet Explorer web browser software with its Microsoft Windows operating system. Bundling them together is alleged to have been responsible for Microsoft's victory in the browser wars as every Windows user had a copy of Internet Explorer. It was further alleged that this unfairly restricted the market for competing web browsers. Microsoft stated that the merging of Microsoft Windows and Internet Explorer was the result of innovation and competition, that the two were now the same product and were inextricably linked together, and that consumers were now getting all the benefits of Internet Explorer for free. Microsoft vigorously defended itself in the public arena, arguing that its attempts to innovate were under attack by rival companies jealous of its success, and that government litigation was merely their pawn. Judge Jackson issued his findings of fact on November 5, 1999, which stated that Microsoft constituted a monopoly and that Microsoft had taken actions to crush threats to that monopoly, including Apple, Java, Netscape, Lotus Notes, Real Networks, Linux, and others. Then on April 3, 2000, he issued a two-part ruling. His conclusions of law were that Microsoft had committed monopolization, attempted monopolization, and tying in violation of sections 1 and 2 of the Sherman Act and his remedy was that Microsoft must be broken into two separate units, one to produce the operating system and one to produce other software components. June 27, 2008, Bill Gates steps down from daily duties. Bill Gates stepped down as Chief Executive Officer of Microsoft in January of 2000. He remained as Chairman and created the position of Chief Software Architect. In June 2006, Gates announced that he would be transitioning from full-time work at Microsoft to part-time and full-time work at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. He gradually transferred his duties to Ray Ozzy, Chief Software Architect, and Craig Mundy, Chief Research and Strategy Officer. Gates' last full-time day at Microsoft was June 27, 2008. He remains at Microsoft as non-executive chairman. If you want to see the Oprah Winfrey success story timeline, go watch the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Born in Mississippi, Oprah Winfrey was reared by her grandmother on a farm where she began her broadcasting career by learning to read aloud and perform recitations at the age of three.